My engineering hero, I think I'm very inspired by engineers architects who combine the deep and thorough understanding of how the structures work and use this to create very efficient and aesthetically pleasing structures. One of such, such architect engineers was uh, Ella Dudiesta or uh, Robert Mylard building beautiful bridges around, around uh, Switzerland. I got inspired to be a civil engineer when I heard this documentary about uh, the longest bridge in the world at the time, uh, Akashi Bridge in Japan. It was still during construction, very late stages, but um, it was in an earthquake zone and actually an earthquake, a very strong earthquake happened uh, just before it was completed and a crack was literally nine meters away from the, one of the main pillars. And because of the dampers that were inside the structure that kind of uh, managed to damp the re resonance, the bridge actually survived. It didn't move at all, but because the earth stretched by over a meter, the br bridge broke and became even longer. Engineering is all about solving problems and I think that the best solutions are the ones that are very simple. And I think it's this ingenuity, this creativity that comes with engineering to solve problems the most simple and simple way possible. That's what I love about it. I think our industry is very conservative and for a good cause very often. But I would bring in people from maybe from outside of engineering to kind of collaborate together and accelerate where we can. So introducing new technologies to how we design, speeding it up sometimes, or sometimes just allowing us for something completely different, completely new, that's something that's not so ordinary. My plan for if I'm elected to be the new civil engineer of the year is to create an industry-wide TED Talk event that would raise profile of engineering by talking to people about the most incredible engineering ideas, but in the most simple way possible. I think the proudest moment to date for me was when I decided at an age of 15, 16 to move out of my home country and move to England to go to international school and then go to Scotland to study and after that at the University in Australia as well. Yeah, I think Martin's passion for engineering came through uh, and whilst he, I agree he engaged with the judges I think he's definitely got an ability to engage with the wider public, the young people that he wants to engage with and then attract into engineering. Martin said that we're going to make engineering cool, which was a, a big step for us. That'll, that'll, that'll be interesting to see how we can deliver on that. He's thinking about his future quite a lot. Um, he, he seems to have a structure in place. I mean, he, he told us the story as to um, how he's going to, where he's come from and, and how he's going to get to, to where he needs to get to. So I'm, I'm confident that he'll achieve his, his goals, certainly. Absolutely. Uh, I think he's got the potential to put him a, a great leader in uh, his business, uh, inspiring engineers who work for him uh, to develop through the business. I think if you've got Martin as a mentor, you couldn't help but be uh, excited about your future.